lying in the pits. In fact, this GCT tour uh, event in Zagreb is really not a super football game as we have the Euro finals and the yeah. American Cup finals, but no, it's about the chess. It is about the chess. And look at this, G3. Yeah. Uh, you can forget the Euro Cup final. You can forget Wimbledon. The action <laughs> is here. And look, the surprises have already begun, yes. G3 on move two. Yeah. Um, move we three. 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 And uh, we used to call this the Glenk variation. This was with the knight coming to C3. So G6 played. G6 is a very solid approach. I used to be very happy when I used to face this because then I would just continue with the standard plan and say, hey, I've got a little bit of extra space. Ah, oh, no, this is a difference. C4. Okay, uh, I played the English my whole career, and whenever I was playing this, what we would call the pot binning, pawn triangle, C4, D3, E4, the knight, I would always put it on the E2 square. So I put my knight on c3, put the knight on e2, because I wanted to play the move f2, f4. Conversely, knight is on e7, and this allows Fabi to play the move f7, f5, which is a really nice way of counterattacking the center. And I've always felt that gives black excellent uh, position and an easy equality, a7, a5. Uh, often that white is looking to put his queen side in motion with the move B to B4, so the move A5 is kind of a preventative, and I, and I like that as well. Uh, players have played very quickly, but I, I think it was G3 that just caused Fabi wow. to use some time. Wow, G5 that for Fabi. He's, he's looking for an opportunity. Playing F4, getting the king side wedge. Side, but uh, again, I like the fact that Gokesh has not paused. He's on 4 minutes and 47 seconds, which means he's entirely in his preparation. Bishop takes F5. Exactly. Queen D7, hitting the pawn on H3, is on uh, Black's agenda. Now, here the problem from White's point of view is once again, the knight is just a little bit on the wrong square. You would love to have it on d2 so it could swing the e4 or on e2 so it could swing the c3 so i'm imagining that you're going to play king h7 and then you're going to figure out your final uh, scheme of development and also a question should he take on e7 or not knight takes e7 and bishop e3 another option is just to go knight to e3 knight to e3 the bishop would likely drop back. I don't want to see you taking my bishop. Right. I want to play, I want to preserve it so I can attack on h3. Because the thing is, you know, as white, I'm looking at moving the knight from f3, as you indicated, but right. I don't want, I want to go to knight e1, knight c2, do this dance, because right. I'd much rather have the knight on e3, where it can eyeball the king side, still keep control of d5, and somehow I want this knight on d2. Yeah. Just go knight e4. And Agreed. But then there are consequences. Okay. It's a very tense position. I feel like this is a lot easier to play as as black.
G6? G6. Uh, I don't think it's a time problem for Fabi, but uh, just tell me once again, what is the clock time? Well, Fukukash, it's six seconds, and he's just playing on increments. And... Yeah, he's, he's just playing because he just doesn't have enough time to resign. Yeah. Rook to E5, well, Rook here. Six. I mean, Rook E6, Knight C5. Bring that. Ah, oh, he just see. captures on d5. Rook to e5. Rook back to e5, sorry. Yeah, rook e5. Yeah, that key. It's that's, simple. I think that's because simple. Rook f5 is get awesome. get greedy with the capturing on d3, then there's rook to e7, and suddenly you have to double in that particular knight. Oh, well, he does! Well, I'm a pawn grabber too. Rook e7. King f8. Now, I just don't want to see the king necessarily coming all the way in. See, Seven. I can always give up this knight for the passer. So king to d8 followed by knight c5 certainly is one one way of handling his business. But I feel that this is impractical for A little Abby, bit. Especially when you're on your final seconds. A little bit. Especially because Kukash suddenly will have a lot of hope that he never had in the position. Yeah, but the, the, the strange thing is the, the pawn, the black rook is doing a great job at, 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 at uh, defending okay. pawn d3. Very accurately calculated. D3, d2. Rook f7, d2. And the knight swings into the game. And there's no way you're knight to e4. And there's no way you're promoting this pawn anymore. Knight to e3, sorry. Okay. Beautifully calculated. By Fabiano, that yeah, the deep ball really, is going to be the runner. Yeah, and he's, he's way on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Last trick, rook takes g7, check. No. No. King to e4. King to e3. Uh, he could have played knight to d4, and I think that was. And that's it, we have resignation. Congratulations and to Fabi as he's just tearing up the field. <laughs> it's. Tearing.